what you're about to hear could completely change the way you approach your health. Picture this. You're eating well, taking your daily supplements with discipline, and feeling confident that you're doing everything right. But in reality, you could be putting your health at serious risk without even realizing it. This is happening right now to thousands of people who are combining magnesium, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2 in the wrong way. Scientific studies published in reputable journals like the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and The Lancet have shown that deficiencies, or even overdoses, of these nutrients are directly linked to an increase in cardiovascular disease, kidney issues, and even neurological disorders. But don't panic. The whole point of this video is to protect you from making these common mistakes. Before we dive in, I need to ask you for a quick favor. If you care about your health, or if you know someone who takes supplements like magnesium, vitamin D3, or K2, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. This helps the video reach more people and could literally save lives. So, let's get straight to the point. Why is this combination of supplements, which should bring health benefits, potentially a dangerous trap when used incorrectly? It all starts with magnesium. This mineral is essential for over 300 biochemical reactions in your body. It regulates everything from heart rhythm to brain health and blood sugar control. But here's what almost no one tells you. Magnesium is also one of the key activators of vitamin D3. Without enough magnesium, the D3 you're consuming stays virtually inactive in your body. Now think about this. What's the point of taking high doses of vitamin D3 if your body can't even activate it? This is more common than you might think. Data from studies published in PubMed show that around 50% of the population has insufficient magnesium levels. That means half the people taking D3 supplements are essentially wasting their money. And there's more. When you take vitamin D3, it boosts calcium absorption in your intestines. That would be great if it weren't for one crucial detail. Calcium needs direction. Without vitamin K2, that calcium can start accumulating in dangerous places, like your arterial walls, joints, or even your kidneys. This is where the risk of arterial calcification skyrockets. The American Heart Association has already issued warnings in recent publications stating that supplementing with D3 without K2 can increase the risk of heart disease. But wait, there's more. Another widespread mistake is dosage. Most people have no idea how many milligrams of magnesium they're actually taking. You know that bottle you bought that says 400 milligrams of magnesium? Well, usually only a fraction of that is elemental magnesium, the form your body actually uses. Less transparent brands often label the total compound amount, like magnesium glycinate, but when you check the fine print, you'll find there's only 60 to 90 milligrams of pure magnesium per capsule. The result? You think you're doing everything right, but you're actually underdosing without realizing it. And the problem gets worse when we talk about absorption. Magnesium needs high bioavailability to work effectively. Forms like magnesium glycinate, threonate, and malate are much better absorbed compared to magnesium oxide, which has very low absorption and often causes diarrhea. Another crucial point that rarely gets mentioned is the timing of these nutrients. Taking D3 and K2 in the morning with a meal rich in healthy fats like eggs, olive oil, or avocado can drastically improve absorption. Magnesium, on the other hand, can be divided between morning and night for more balanced metabolic support. Now let's talk about something that even the most health-conscious people often overlook. The interaction between these supplements and commonly prescribed medications. Proton pump inhibitors for gastritis and common diuretics can dramatically lower your magnesium levels. Birth control pills and corticosteroids also interfere with vitamin D3 absorption. That means if you're taking any of these medications and following a standard supplementation plan without adjustments, you're at an even greater risk. And there's another factor you need to know about, blood tests. Many people blindly trust their lab results to assess magnesium levels. The problem is that less than 1% of your body's magnesium is circulating in the blood. The rest is stored in bones and tissues. This makes serum magnesium tests one of the least reliable ways to detect a real deficiency. It's like trying to check your car's fuel level by looking at the exhaust pipe. Now let's go deeper. Did you know that low magnesium levels can cause symptoms like insomnia, irritability, muscle cramps, heart palpitations, and even anxiety attacks? These signs are often ignored or treated with medications when the real issue is simply a mineral deficiency. On the flip side, vitamin D3 deficiency also brings silent symptoms like chronic fatigue, depression, muscle pain, low immunity, and blood sugar issues. And here's the scary part. 
Even with adequate D3 levels, if you're lacking magnesium, the vitamin won't get activated. This creates a functional deficiency cycle. You're taking the vitamin, but your body can't use it. Now, let's talk about K2. There are two main forms, 4 Malawian quaches and 7 Malawian quaches. 7 Malawian quaches is the most recommended for supplementation because it has a longer half-life and stays in your system longer, providing more stable protection against arterial calcification. And here's something important. For every 5,000 IU of D3, you should take at least 50 micrograms of K27 Malawian quaches. This helps ensure that calcium goes where it's needed, your bones and teeth, not your arteries. Speaking of calcium, another critical mistake is supplementing calcium alone, without magnesium, D3, and K2. That's a recipe for long-term health problems. Numerous studies, including reviews published in Science Direct, have shown that taking calcium by itself can increase the risk of cardiovascular events. Stress, excessive sugar, alcohol, and caffeine consumption further drain magnesium levels in your body. Another critical detail, people who exercise intensely or sweat a lot need even more magnesium since this mineral is easily lost through sweat. And here's a little known fact. In addition to magnesium, D3, and K2, zinc also plays a fundamental role in this balance. It regulates vitamin D receptors and is essential for immune system function. However, too much zinc without balancing it with copper can cause problems like reduced immunity, arrhythmias, and even anemia. That's why when supplementing with zinc, it's ideal to maintain a 10 to 1 ratio with copper, preventing hidden deficiencies that could create even more imbalances in your body. And before you think supplements are the ultimate solution, it's important to stress that everything starts with diet. Poor soils, nutrient-deficient diets, and the overconsumption of processed foods are some of the reasons why magnesium and other micronutrient deficiencies have become so widespread. Want a practical example? A single can of soda can wipe out much of the magnesium you've consumed that day due to its sugar load and caffeine effect. Furthermore, recent studies published in JAMA show that up to 70% of the global population has insufficient vitamin D levels, making the problems even worse when supplementation is done incorrectly. This combination of factors, poor diet, medication use, magnesium deficiency, and imbalance between D3 and K2, creates a perfect storm for developing conditions like osteoporosis, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular problems, and even early cognitive decline. That's exactly why today's scientific consensus recommends that supplementation with these nutrients be done strategically, taking into account lifestyle, diet, medical history, and, of course, individual nutrient levels. One smart tip many experts suggest is to take supplements in divided doses. For example, instead of taking your entire magnesium dose at night, you could split it, half in the morning and half at night. This helps maintain more stable levels throughout the day and avoids gastrointestinal discomfort. D3 and K2, being fat-soluble, should always be consumed with healthy fats. A simple tablespoon of olive oil, a handful of nuts, or even a slice of avocado can significantly improve absorption. Consistency is another critical factor. Taking these supplements for just a week or two and expecting miraculous results is unrealistic. Clinical studies show that the positive effects of supplementing with D3, K2, and magnesium appear only after weeks or even months of continuous and correct use. Of course, every body responds differently, and factors like genetics, gut microbiome, and even sleep quality can influence the response. Speaking of sleep, here's a lesser-known fact. Magnesium plays a direct role in melatonin production, the hormone that regulates sleep. People with magnesium deficiency often struggle to fall asleep or stay asleep, directly affecting their hormonal and immune balance. Another concern is excessive vitamin D3 intake without medical supervision. High doses of D3, especially over 10,000 IU per day, can dangerously elevate blood calcium levels, causing hypercalcemia. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, muscle weakness, mental confusion, and in severe cases, heart arrhythmias and kidney failure. This brings us back to the life-saving role of vitamin K2, it helps reduce these risks by directing calcium to the correct places. Age also plays a major role. As we age, our ability to absorb and metabolize these nutrients diminishes. 
Seniors are at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency due to less sun exposure and decreased skin capacity to synthesize the vitamin. Additionally, aging affects magnesium absorption in the gut. If you're over 60, this information is even more critical. The right combination of these supplements can help prevent fractures, improve bone density, and reduce fall risk. And if you're thinking, should I rush out and buy all these supplements right now? The answer is, take a breath. Before starting any supplementation, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional who can assess your specific needs based on detailed tests and medical history. A smart approach is to start by adjusting your diet, increasing the intake of foods rich in these nutrients. Natural sources of magnesium include spinach, almonds, avocado, bananas, and pumpkin seeds. Vitamin K2 is found in fermented foods like natto, certain cheeses, and egg yolks. However, in practice, due to the low concentration of these nutrients in modern diets, supplementation becomes necessary for many people. Let's also quickly address magnesium's interaction with other minerals like potassium. Magnesium is essential for transporting potassium into cells. Without magnesium, potassium levels become unbalanced, increasing the risk of heart arrhythmias. This explains why some people, even when eating potassium-rich foods, still experience deficiency symptoms. Magnesium also directly affects insulin sensitivity. Recent research suggests that adequate magnesium levels help control blood sugar and may even reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Another point to reinforce is vitamin D3's impact on the immune system. It modulates immune cells, helping the body respond better to infections and chronic inflammation. In fact, recent studies show that people with adequate vitamin D levels have lower hospitalization rates for respiratory infections. And K2, once again, plays a crucial role in cardiovascular health. It activates proteins that prevent calcium buildup in arteries, protecting the heart and reducing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. But all of this only works when there's balance. Poorly adjusted supplementation can do more harm than good. Now, you might be wondering, is there a universal dosage for everyone? The answer is no. Each person has different needs. Factors like body weight, age, physical activity level, diet, medication use, and even sun exposure influence the ideal amounts. For instance, someone living in regions with little sunlight might need higher D3 doses. Meanwhile, people dealing with chronic stress or using diuretics may require more magnesium. Finally, it's essential to remember that there's no miracle supplement. They're just one part of a healthy lifestyle that includes balanced eating, regular exercise, stress management, and quality sleep. And here's one last warning. If you're taking D3 and start experiencing extreme fatigue, mental confusion, arrhythmias, or excessive thirst, seek medical attention immediately. This could signal vitamin D toxicity, a growing problem due to the indiscriminate use of high doses. To wrap up, the real secret is balance. Magnesium, vitamin D3, and K2 can dramatically improve your health, but only when used with intelligence, responsibility, and knowledge. If this video helped you, please leave a like, share it with someone who needs this information, and subscribe to the channel to keep receiving scientifically based, clear, and health-focused content. Thank you for watching, take care of yourself, and see you in the next video.